Naniwa must fight out in the open. Two Void Rays get Micro back and they will wow. survive. Great Micro from Naniwa keeping the Void Rays alive. But is it going to be enough? It becomes a numbers game here. Naniwa has a lot of money in the bank. Another Time Warp has been activated. And Naniwa must retreat to his natural ramp. The Mothership Core gets picked off and closer. Nidus Worm has been put down. Oh, Naniwa, you're in for a difficult time. Oh, life. Oh, Star Tail life with a proxy hatchery here. A mana hatchery, as we call it, to take the mickey out of his opponent but here <laughs> comes naniwa to defend once again he did it on belshir vestige can it happen here yeah uh, it's gonna be very hard for naniwa to hold obviously i mean he's got mostly void race almost nothing on the ground 10 queens 15 hydras five roaches units are gonna keep on streaming in both players reinforcing very close to the fight Oh, nice force fields. Nice force fields here from Naniwa, but he's got 10 Void Rays and currently remains with 10 Void Rays alive. Micring very well. He's got a little amount of units, but they're dealing a lot of damage. The supply is closing up. Remember that at the moment. It's 127 to 149. Life has another mana hatchery down. The Void Rays have been able to keep alive throughout all this great micro from Naniwa, and he stays alive for now, picking off units after units, trading zealots for, for, for units here. One Void Ray gets picked off, but nine of them still survive. Naniwa's going for it here. It's a lot of queens, a lot of hydralists. Is he going to be able to do it if he continues to reinforce? Maybe. Wow, and that micro on the Void Ray is always pulling those uh, red ones back. Is he, can Naniwa hold again like he did before? Oh my god! Oh my god! Another cancelled mana hatchery! How the hell? Naniwa with micro, absolutely legendary micro with these void rays, keeping them alive. They are all in low health. And now Life finds himself in a terrible position, or a disastrous position.